following screencast will demonstrate how to use Acknowledge's automated frequency analysis tool. This particular tool will determine the mean power, median frequency, mean frequency, the spectral edge and peak frequency over a user-defined time interval. Here we have a raw EEG waveform. This is um, FZ and we're going to go into the EEG menu select EEG frequency analysis and we're going to choose which channel to be analyzed there are more channels in this file than what are being displayed actually in the graph so if I select FZ hit OK I'm going to use a five second window hit OK and now if we open this up a little bit here we go so this is the uh, measurement number that was taken so this was time five, 0 to 5 seconds time period 1 mean power median frequency mean frequency the spectral edge and the peak frequency for each of the 11 5 second bins that were analyzed in this particular file. If we go into the menu again for EEG and select preferences, this was um, set so that we were just going to extract the values into an Excel spreadsheet, but we can select an option that will graph those measurements as well as export them into Excel. So I'm going to rerun the analysis, do exactly the same thing again. We'll use FZ again. Use a five second width. Hit OK. This is our spreadsheet and then down below we can see that we've got these channels of data and they're in five second blocks each block represents the time period that was taken so if we select one of these to delta T uh, I can't see delta T okay. so I'm not exactly 100% lined up but it's approximately five seconds so this particular channel we're looking at here is the mean power this is the median frequency mean frequency spectral edge and peak frequency now we did the analysis on one channel of data FZ only but when we go back in you can run it on multiple channels at the same time I just selected for the purpose of this screencast to do it on one channel uh, so it's a very quick and easy way to extract the frequency values from specified time periods within any EEG data file anyway that demonstration concludes this particular screencast on the EEG automated EEG frequency analysis. The following screencast will demonstrate how to use the Acknowledge Epoch Analysis Routine. The Epoch Analysis Routine is a very quick way to extract a series of measurements from a data file. It's particularly useful when you've got many channels of data and you want to take several different measurements. In the sample file that I've got open here, we've got a blood pressure waveform with heart rate, systolic, diastolic, and mean pressure measurements. In this case, quite often, you're going to take different measurements from different channels. You come in, you 
highlight an area of data and the measurement results are updated and you can paste those down into the journal file or into Excel. It's also possible to automate this procedure by using the Find Cycle Peak Detector, but there is a nice tool located in the Analysis menu, Epoch Analysis, that will allow us to automate this process. I'm going to use a fixed time interval and I'm going to take a measurement over a 10 second time window and I'm going to start at the beginning of the graph, so at time point zero, and I'm going to take a measurement every 10 seconds. And I'm going to output my results to a spreadsheet and I've already already set up some measurement boxes here so I'm taking the mean value from different channels and I'll show you how this works. Basically you have a, um, the same list of measurements that are available from the pull down measurement boxes that appear above the graph window and again if I just select mean we then ask to choose the channel we want to take the mean value from and I'm going to select the mean blood pressure so we'll get the mean of the mean blood pressure over a 10 second period. So now we've got four different measurements selected on four different channels. Select OK. And the software has gone through, it's analyzed the data. There's the epoch number, the time, the measurement started, and then the values for mean, systolic, diastolic, heart rate, and mean blood pressure. So with, that, with this particular analysis, it's much easier to go through automatically than have to highlight each period like so. If we come back into the setup, there's also an option here to trigger the measurements from events in the recording. So these events could be digital marks that are coming from Superlab or E-Prime, in which case you need to look up the type of event. So if it was a, a stim, it goes in there, and then we can say, well, we want to take our measurement before the event mark or after the event mark, and then select whether we want to paste into the journal or a spreadsheet or whether we want to graph the measurements as new channels or whether we want to do both journal and graph or graph and Excel. So that concludes our demonstration of the Acknowledge Epoch Analysis routine.